Hi everyone, Dr. Shook here. Hope you're doing well today. In today's video, I want to talk about how your allergies are directly connected to autoimmunity and how they may be driving it and making it worse, and more importantly, what you can do about it. So allergies tend to put your immune system into a reactive mode. Now, when we look at the immune system, we can generally divide it at a very high level into two different divisions. A Th1, which is T helper 1, and a T helper 2 or TH2 division. Now, all this really means is that the T helper 1 side of the immune system, the immune cells, are killer cells. They actually fight things off. Okay, The T helper 2 side, if you're T helper 2 dominant, this is where you, most of the allergies come from, or allergic reactions tend to drive a dominance in the cell type and the inflammatory profile that's more associated with what we would call Th2 dominance, which is more of a reactive mode that your immune system is in. This is a part uh, of the immune system uh, that tends to be more associated with antibody production and immune memory and reactivity to things. So when you're autoimmune, if you have allergies, then you're probably in a Th1 dominant state. Your immune system is in a more state of dominance where the cells in your body are making these things called cytokines, which are proteins made by the immune system that are these messengers. They're signalers. They, they, they signal uh, whether inflammation is produced or whether it's calmed down. They, they actually allow the immune system to to cross talk with other systems like the hormonal system or the endocrine system, the nervous system. And when you have allergies, these tend to, you tend to have higher uh, dominance of interleukin-4. That's one of the cytokines. Now, interleukin-4 does some really interesting things because it can impair your body's ability to do cellular cleanup. You may have heard of the word autophagy before, but what it does, it can impair that and it can also make it harder for your barrier systems like your intestinal barrier, your blood brain barrier, your, uh, your pulmonary or lung barrier, your skin, all these barrier systems to heal. It can impair that. It will also speed the metabolism and ut utilization of vitamin D. This ultimately can lead to immune system dysregulation and hyperreactivity to things. And so when you're in this state, you might be thinking, well, I just need to calm down the, the uh, allergic responses. And, and that's true. One, one of the things that you need to do is focus on a, a comprehensive approach where you're removing as many triggers as possible because this will all drive the autoimmune process. Remove as many triggers as possible so that you can start healing these barrier systems to get better regulation of the immune response. Now, if you have questions about this, ask them in the comments. 